Over the last few days, we have seen so many news stories that the One UI 6 Android 14 beta for Samsung devices was live in some countries, and then they pulled it down, and then it was live in some countries, and then they pulled it down. They kept putting up these press releases and confusing everybody tremendously, but now it is actually, actually, actually available. So in this video, we're going to look at how to install it, how to get into the beta and install it, as well as a first look at some of the big changes in One UI 6. After more false starts than I can really imagine, the One UI beta, the One UI 6 beta to be specific, is finally live for several Samsung devices. As you can see, the S23, 23 Plus, and 23 Ultra. We are on the S23 Ultra here. This is the Samsung Members app. If you don't know how to do this, you open this up and you basically scroll through, it just crashed on me or something. You scroll through these banners up here at the top until you see this top banner. We're gonna click on that and we're going to opt into this beta, install it, and quickly go over some of the things that we are seeing in this beta. Let's click on register, let's scroll down and click on enroll. It's telling me that my SIM card doesn't match. There's no SIM card in this device. So maybe I'm gonna put in my secondary SIM card into this device and see if that fixes this. Okay, and that looks like that caused it to go through. So I'm assuming that now all I need to do is jump into my system settings and check for a software update. And hopefully it's going to pop up and begin downloading relatively soon. All right, there it is. We have this thing downloading and there is the changed log, which is relatively short. I guess I don't really put all this stuff into the betas. So we're gonna let this download and install and then we'll pick back up with some uh, new features. A look at this new One UI 6. All right, we have upgraded to One UI 6. I've got my Galaxy Z Fold 4 here to kind of compare and contrast contrast some of the changes. One of the things that I do know for sure has changed is the notification shade. So let's pull both of these down. Let's clear those notifications and we can kind of compare here. Very, very different appearance to this notification area. Just the styling looks a little bit different. And if we go down again, really, really big changes to this section here. This is very iOS-like. This looks like I'm using an iPhone almost. And I'm not sure how I feel about it, but honestly, I think I'm gonna get used to this and I think it's gonna end up being pretty decent. This is a very clean look. Look, nobody thinks iOS looks bad, or at least very few people think that anyways. I think that this is a, a pretty big departure, but not necessarily a bad thing. I did want to go back and quickly clarify this point though. So I changed my wallpaper and you do get a little bit of a different thing going on here. So if you go into the color palette, by default, this was turned off, which meant that this was going to just be white. So that is kind of what they're going with is this white clean look. However, you can change your wallpaper. You can go into color palette and turn this on. It looks weird though, because it's getting green. The colors seem to be like really like strange and not really all that related to the wallpaper, but if I pick that one that does look fairly close to it and click on apply, you now will get colors up in these icons and that's what it's going to look like. So you're not stuck with that white kind of look, you can't have it colored. I've heard there are also some changes in the camera app, so we will jump into there. And of course, things are gonna be laid out differently because this is a tablet. So let's actually close this thing and do that again so we can get as close to one to one as possible. So looks like a different appearance here to the zoom, maybe even a different font. Definitely a different appearance though. Like it's actually kind of hard to tell which one you're on because I don't know if you can see this, but it's black on kind of a darker color. So when I was sitting down on the black thing like this, so it's only looking at black, I really couldn't tell which, which zoom I was on, whereas this is using white to highlight. This definitely looks different up here as well. Things like the aspect ratio does look different. Of course, you have your different megapixel mode for this phone popping up there as well, just some stylistic changes. If we jump into the settings on the camera app, I think we're supposed to have this new section that says advanced intelligence options, quality optimization, maximum, medium to speed up the capture time, and then minimum, take pictures as fast as possible. So this might be a way for them to kind of help people mitigate that shutter-like issue that a lot of people have complained about. The more section does look pretty similar. Let's jump into our settings. Do we see any real differences here? So here's an interesting one. Before, under display was wallpaper and style. Now we have a battery section that is right there. I believe before 
you would have to go into device care and then battery. And that is definitely a different appearance. Not a huge change, but it does look a little bit different. Let's look at uh, what the now plain widget looks like. That looks pretty similar on both, although not totally similar because the new version has the album artwork covering the entire background. That looks very nice. Let's lock it and let's take a look at that lock screen and see again, yes, that is a much better appearance. I like that a lot, good change. There's also supposed to be a new widget for the camera app. Let's see if we can drag this onto a spot where I guess you can start the camera in a specific mode straight from the home screen. So if you use pro mode or something like that, I guess this allows you to jump straight into that might be interesting for some people. Looks like we have some changes to the gallery app as well. What is this little eye down here? Okay, so this is showing information instead of the share button. The share button has moved over to the side. I'm not sure if that's new or not. Let's click on the pin because I think there's supposed to be some changes here as well. Much larger icons, different styling, maybe to make that easier to touch these different touch points. Let's see if the weather app has changed any. That is the wrong weather app. That is a uh, one drop. I'm not actually using the official <laughs> weather app. That's why that looked different. Here's the actual weather app. It does look pretty similar, although I guess on the Z Fold, it's turning black as I scroll down, whereas here it is keeping uh, that same blue color. So not a huge change there. So before we could change what the lock screen clock looked like, but I guess we couldn't move it around, whereas now we actually have the ability to kind of move things around. So a little bit more customization there for the lock screen, not too bad. And then I guess the last thing I'm gonna cover is something that I gotta be honest, I probably would have never noticed. There's these people that constantly on Twitter post these things where people are like, they're like opening an app and then going home like as quickly as they can. And it's it, it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. But I guess something's supposed to be different here where like the animations on One UI 6 are meant to be what's called non-linear. So they can basically be like canceled before they actually make it all the way up. Whereas before they couldn't, maybe you can see the difference there. It does look very nice and smooth. But I, it's just the people that do this, they drive me a little bit crazy. <laughs> so there you go, guys. This is by no means a comprehensive list. There are going to be more changes and things that are in this One UI 6 that I just haven't had the chance to see. This is kind of a quick rundown of the ones that have stood out to me the most. Like I said, there will be more. Drop some comments down below. What else have you discovered that made a big difference to you? Let me know in those comments down below. Be sure to subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.